was in 1911 that the Illinois Central purchased its first examples of the modern freight locomotive, the 282 Mikado type. Built to the Harriman Standard design, also used by Union Pacific and Southern Pacific, Illinois Central would roster over 500 of them when the last were built in 1923. These dependable workhorses would form the backbone of the railroad's fleet for over four decades until they were retired in favor of diesels. In 1920, the railroad began purchasing a fleet of 2102 freight locomotives that would number 125 engines when the last arrived in 1923. The 2102s, called Centrals by the IC, were powerful but slow. This led to the purchase of 50 of Lima's new 284 type in 1926. The IC called these locomotives Limas and Big Mikes, and they turned out to not be the fast freight power that was needed. Their drivers were the same size as the Mikados, and they were rough on track and cruise at higher speeds. As it turned out, the pattern for the new fast freight locomotive was already on hand. 64A2 mountain types had been purchased between 1923 and 1926 for passenger service, and they were found to be ideal locomotives for fast freight assignments as well. The only problem was, as traffic increased as the Great Depression ended, there weren't enough of them to go around money was also lacking to buy new engines. So eyes turned to the slow centrals. In 1937, engine number 2953, a 1921 Lima, was sent to the shops at Paducah, Kentucky. Her boiler was removed from the 2102 chassis and installed on new 482 running gear. She was given the number 2500 and put through her paces. The design was quickly deemed a success and 13 more such rebuilds were completed by the end of the year. 56 of them would be completed by the time the last left Paducah in 1942. The 2500's design was updated into the 2600 class, which was built from the ground up at Paducah in 1942 and 1943. The remainder of the centrals were upgraded into the 27 and 2800 classes. With the switch to diesels between 1955 and 1960, the Illinois Central steam fleet was shoved aside. Only three large locomotives would escape the scrapper's torch. Mikado No. 1518 was pulled from the deadline at Paducah and put on display not far from the shops that were so closely associated with the Illinois Central steam fleet. Mountain No. 2542 was also saved, and she is on display today next to the passenger station in Macomb, Mississippi. The last big IC engine to be saved was number 2500 herself. She last ran in 1957 and was preserved when she just happened to be conveniently located in a line of dead engines at Centralia, Illinois. She was moved to Fairview Park, a mile west of the tracks through downtown Centralia. Over the years, the 2500 has been well looked after. One of the men who was instrumental in saving the 2500 was honored. James Adams of Centralia was surprised at Fairview Park on the occasion of his 105th birthday. An air compressor was brought in and the sound of 2500's whistle was heard for the first time in over 60 years. At 105 years old, Mr. Adams climbed into the 2500's cab and celebrated with his hand on the whistle cord. Yeah. Can you reach it? Ready? Full hard. 
Ho, 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 ho. 